everyone. Today I want to talk to you about Chitali Pranayama and additionally peppermint oil. Peppermint oil, um, especially doTERRA's peppermint oil, can be um, used anytime you feel you need to cool down. In fact, I like to use this with my little ones um, if they have a little temperature. So I know that firsthand experience, it'll bring your core temperature down. Um, I like to keep a roller bottle of this in my purse or in the diaper bag. Um, for when we're outside, I roll it on my wrists or pulse points up and down the back of the neck is also a really good spot. Um, additionally, um, if you're out you know, enjoying summertime activities, you can put a couple drops of this in a spray bottle with water and spritz everyone down and it'll help to cool you off. Shatali Pranayama um, is a breathing technique. Pranayama means breath work. And it's mainly used to cool down the body. You can do this um, anytime you want it, before or after a yoga practice. You can even use it during your yoga practice, especially if you feel your core temperature is really high. Um, this can be done during the summer, fall, winter, spring. It's especially beneficial for those of you who have a pitta dosha. So if you know your doshas um, tend to run a little bit hotter, have that fire energy, you would want to incorporate a little bit more shatali pranayama. Um, there's really no counterindications for doing shatali pranayama. The only thing you might find is genetically you might not be able to do shatali pranayama, and that's going to depend on your ability to curl your tongue. So that's genetic. It's not something you can work on. It's just you stick your tongue out and curl the sides in. And if you can do that, great. If you can't, um, I'll show you a modification in the video how to do that as well. So enjoy, um, and I hope you take your Shatali Pranayama out with you the rest of the summer. Namaste. Begin by sitting comfortably, either on the floor or in a chair. Sit up tall. Roll your shoulders up towards your ears, pull them back and down. Now close your eyes and relax. Extend your tongue and curl its sides in to create a channel. This is a genetic ability. Some people can do it, others cannot. If you are unable to curl your tongue, gently press your lower and upper teeth together. Separate your lips as much as you comfortably can so your teeth are exposed to the air. You will be inhaling through the gaps of your teeth, focusing on the hissing sound of the breath. Close the mouth and exhale slowly through the nose. If you can keep the tongue curled, you'll go ahead and slowly and deeply draw the breath in through the tongue, sensing the breath becoming moist and cool as it passes across the tongue. Close your mouth and slowly exhale through the nose. Again, with the tongue curled or the teeth exposed, inhale through the mouth and exhale through your nose. Try this again. Inhale through the mouth. Exhale through your nose. Try repeating this on your own 10 times.
during the heat of the summer, you can practice the Shatali breathing to keep yourself cool at any time you feel you need it, during the yoga practice, or if you're simply spending time outside. Work on building this up from about 1 to 2 minutes, working your way all the way up to 10. For added benefits of cooling, you can add peppermint oil to your shatali pranayama practice. You'll want to go ahead and roll the peppermint oil on your pulse points. And also roll it in the palms of the hands. Rub the hands together. And cup the hands over the nose, being careful to avoid the eyes. Take a few normal deep breaths in, letting the aroma of the peppermint oil mentally cool you down. And feel the physical effect of the peppermint at your pulse points, bringing down your temperature. Stay cool this summer. Namaste.